Hey guys, it's Caleb from Gun Nuts Media. We're here at the range with the Springfield Armory 1911 range officer in 9mm. We're going to be doing the tanning performance function test on it right away. And then after we finish up that, we're going to do some general shooting. But first, tanning performance function test. We're going to do this with Hornady Critical Defense, which is my carry and testing ammo of choice. Here we go. Okay, so for the 10 function test, we're going to be using the factory metal four magazines. I have four of these, two of which I had before, and then one of which, uh, two of which came with the gun. Uh, the first thing is eight rounds slow fire. What we're looking for here is just that the gun works in slow fire. Seem to go just fine. Next is eight rounds rapid fire. Looks like I have one case that didn't quite eject the way I would want it to. Next is eight rounds rapid fire strong hand only. And we have one case come straight back at me, but otherwise no problem. All right, this is where we really test the extractor. We're gonna fire eight rounds without a magazine in the gun. So we're gonna load, close the slide, take the mag out. These are gonna be two-hand limp wristed. All right, so there we go. We had a failure to extract and or eject. So that's one malfunction right there. Jack that up. I left the magazine in that one ejected. Second one ejected just fine. That one ejected but it came straight back at me. That's eight, we had one failure to eject. Now we're gonna do the same thing, no mag in the weapon, but a uh, one-handed grip. Now this is not a limp wristed one-handed grip, it is just a one-handed grip. I don't know if you guys saw that, the case fell straight down out the bottom of the gun. That's uh, not how that's supposed to go. That one ejected correctly. Fully. Ooh, that one's cool. So that one failed to eject. You can't even see it, but it's right there. It wanted to fall out the magazine well. So that's three malfunctions so far. And that one also fell out the magazine well. So the pistol has failed the tenant performance extractor test. Let's finish it up. We're going to do the reload portion of the test, and then we'll talk about this later. All right, last portion of the test is the one reload, one test. So we want to make sure we've got an empty magazine in the gun. We're going to fire one, do a slide lock reload. The gun should function as normal. There's a spare mag. We're going to top this off in between to make sure it's at full capacity. Looks like it worked pretty good.
reason I'm catching my mags is I don't want to have to bend down and pick them up off the floor. It's just a pain in the ass. Alright, last run. Alright, so as you can see, past the uh, one reload one portion of the test, we had some issues with extractor function during the limp wristing portion of the test, as you see the gun tied up kind of a lot. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more when we get off the range. Right now I'm going to do some accuracy testing, do some more shooting, and I'll be back with you shortly. I'm back from the range where I was shooting the Springfield Armory Range Officer 1911 in 9mm. As you saw in the video, the gun had three failures. It had, they were all failures to eject slash extract, meaning that the extractor, when you fired the gun with an empty, with no magazine in it, I should say, failed to pull a case clear of the gun. What that means for the gun is we're going to dock it three points for each of those and then another 10 points for failing the 10-8 function test. It sits right now at a score of 87. I don't expect it to fall much lower than that. During the rest of the testing that I did today, I fired an additional 200 rounds. There were no failures of any type. What that means is this gun definitely wants to have a magazine in it to function correctly, which I should note is how the 1911 is designed to function. Right now, there are no issues that I would need to correct at the armor level. There are no issues that I would want to correct at a gunsmith level. So I don't really see the gun scoring much lower than that unless we run into a parts breakage or something like that in the next 1800 rounds. Regardless, I do like the gun. Again, I wish it had a magwell on it. I wish it actually had some forward cocking serrations on it, but those aren't things that we ding the gun for because it was designed to be at a certain price point. So. We've got 1,800 rounds left in this test. We're going to keep shooting it. Obviously, we're going to see more videos. If you like our 1911 test videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get updates on the guns as we do them. So right now, we're doing the Springfield Armory 9mm 1911. After this, we're going to have a Rock Island in. Then we're going to try to get our hands on one of the uh, entry-level Colts, and we're going to see where it goes from there. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching.